On Sunday, July 31st, Governor Bashir made a trip to the Knott County Sportsplex to address the media and local officials regarding the flood relief effort. While community members continue to support each other in this time of need, Governor Bashir is also expressing his dedication towards the people of Kentucky. First, we understand and we love them and we care about them. And we're going to do everything within our power to get them back up on their feet. And while it's going to take years to rebuild uh, their lives, we were just talking about the location where we want to set up a one-stop help area here. We'll be able to come in and talk to a FEMA representative face-to-face -to, -face, to get your driver's license. If you have to file for unemployment, to talk about your prescription refill, uh, to talk about uh, housing, uh, to, to hopefully get all those services that so many of us take for granted. But when you've had everything wiped out, you shouldn't have to go to five or six offices. You're already in a difficult spot. It's not going to be easy. But we are tough people. We open our hearts and our homes to one another. We talked to folks in West Liberty hit by a massive tornado ten and a half years ago. We do get back up on our feet. They will too because we're going to be standing right there next to them every day. It's all in our hands, this life of time that's given to us all. Experienced heart specialists and subspecialists collaborating for the benefit of your care. Top 10% national hospital rankings for patient safety in heart attack and heart failure treatment. The technology and skill to perform extraordinary complex, minimally invasive cardiac, electrophysiology, interventional and structural heart surgeries. This is the Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. When it comes to your heart, place your care in our hands. Governor Bashir acknowledges the damage done to the roads and homes in the surrounding East Kentucky areas, but remains optimistic about the progress being made to rebuild and move on from the crisis. Well, when you look at these roadways, uh, first, this water can just totally eat up the road, wipe it out, and make it impassable. Then you get mudslides that are coming down with debris uh, that separately have to be uh, removed. I want to say the transportation cabinet, local officials, people out there with the backhoes from their farms are doing an incredible job and a lot of areas are open uh, that many would have thought would have taken uh, a lot longer. We want to make sure that we're not keeping one family from getting what they need. And remember, it's their stories that are important, but it's mainly them that are important. We'll help you replace the stuff. I know that's hard if you've just lost everything, but we're glad everybody that's here is here. Thank y'all. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.